sorry, Dick, but I can't give you that contract. You know how important this position is for Diane and I, especially with the baby. But you should join me to the party in St. Bart. You too, Tom. Music. All right, Harry. I understand. Down. I go off my cigarette from the cab. Tom. Would you run down and see if the car is still there? Tom, how long have you been my assistant? Four years. How would you like to take my position? But Harry isn't doing the deal. Where will you go? I want to talk to you about Harry. Think of it as moving Harry from one life to the next. <laughs> Meanwhile, you've just been promoted. You can move your stuff into my office after the funeral. Drink. Dick, he's dead. I know. And you now have a salary of over $100,000 a year. Look at the scotch. Come, Tom. Don't be so dour. You kept your end of the bargain, and I'll keep mine. I just feel bad for Diane, you know? Harry didn't deserve her. Before Diane gets here? What are we gonna do about her? Don't worry, I'll think of something. Let's just hide Harry for now. Okay, can you stop calling him by his name, Dick? Same hole as you. Hey, I mean it! You're not the one who killed him. This never happened. Hello, you two. I wasn't expecting you here this evening. Where's Harry? Went to buy some cigarettes. Uh, but Harry doesn't smoke. For us, Diane. I see. He's buying cigarettes? From where? The shop down the street. Uh-huh. Excuse me. I'm just going to give him a call. 
Can I fix you a drink, Diet? cigarette.